This show is made possible by support from Landsharks.ca. Visit them for all your coin and swag needs at www.landsharks.ca. And by viewers like you. Thank you for your donations. Visiting with a classic Canadian cash. WWFM is on and agility season has started. Live from the Prince George Agriplex is Ice and Rice Geocaching Video Zine. Hi there and welcome to Ice and Rye's Geocaching Video Zine. I'm Ice and Rye, thanks for watching. If you're new to the show, welcome to the family. What this is is me and my camera, go caching, film it, throw it together a few hints, tips and tricks, upload it to the internet so you can download and watch it to your own leisure. If you're a regular viewer, thanks for sticking around, appreciate your viewership. If you'd like to get a hold of me, my email address is geoicenrye at icenrye.com and my website is www.icenrye.com. So what's new? Well, take a look around. We're live on location today at the Prince George Agriplex, home of the first agility trial of the year put on by the Top Dog Agility Club out of here in Prince George. As of, um, as of this recording, we've had a couple of runs so far. Abel's having a great weekend. Me, I'm a little bit rusty, you know? It's like finding those first couple caches of the year, you know? It's like right there in front of you and you still can't find it. Well, Abel's done well. He's had two very good runs. Like I said, myself, made a slight handling mistake on one of our runs and we were disqualified, but we still had a whole heck of a lot of fun. So, what else is new? Well, the biggest uh, news outside the agility season is we've come up with the location for the WWFM version 3 here in Prince George. And it's going to be May 10th at 10 a.m. at the following coordinates. 53 North 54.764 by West 122.44.993. It's going to be right smack dab in the middle of our local Civic Plaza area during the winter where there's an ice rink. Now the really great thing about this location is you can view it with the Prince George, La, Prince George Art Gallery webcam. So here's the assignment to you to view in public. If any of you guys are not going to attend a WWFM flash mob in your own area, on the day of, of, the, day of the event, could I get someone to go to the webcam site for the Civic Center and snap a couple pictures? Hey, it'll be great. It'll be lots of fun. You can sit at home and actually watch our Flash Mob live. So another exciting local news event is the arrival of Bernie's Traveling Geocache to the Prince George area. If you're a Canadian cacher, you probably know about this cache. It was originally placed in October 2001 in the Calgary, Alberta, and has made its way from the East Coast to the West Coast and all over the country. Well, coast to coast to coast was heading up the Prince George for a visit, decided to bring the cash up, and they got to hang out in the Prince George area for a couple of weeks. And a bunch of us local cashers got together one day at a local Timmy's, and we all met up with the cash, did some trading, signed the logbook, sent him on a merry way back down to the lower mainland. This has been a classic Canadian cash. It's one of the oldest caches here in Canada, and we're really happy to see it visit up here in Prince George. So we're now a couple weeks into the month of March, which means it's only two more weeks to the start of April and the 2008 BC Geocache Association Cache Blitz. All the local caches here, we got our caches sitting at home ready to go. It's going to be a ton of fun. And uh, our, our cache approver is a gentleman named Mountain Man based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And he unfortunately got to do the entire province of British Columbia. So Mountain Man, if you're a fan of the show, you're going to be really, really busy. Just Thought I'd warn you. Well, that's enough of the small chatter for now. Let's get into some geocaching news. Mm -hmm. 
All right, first up in geocaching news. Hey, a special congratulations has to go out to a fellow podcaster who had a very special milestone. Spindock Bob, host of the GeoTalk podcast all the way in the land down under, and his wife had a lovely baby a few weeks ago. Bob, congratulations on the news cacher. Really looking forward to seeing little baby's first log find. So Groundspeak and Garmin have teamed up together to get new people into geocaching. If you buy a new Garmin Colorado, you will receive a 30-day trial premium membership from Groundspeak. If you're new to the sport or you're just picking up a Garmin and you don't have a premium membership yet, check it out. Premium memberships are absolutely wonderful. The biggest things they allow you to do pocket queries. And if I mentioned many times before, pocket queries are sort of the start of our great adventure. So that about wraps it up for the news. Now, just before we get into the iTunes coin comment giveaway contest, we got a couple of quick notes here from Daryl and Firefly of Cache Maniacs and Cachers of the Round Table. We're heading down to Ohio this week to speak with a cacher who goes by the name Kaneko. His father talks about his experiences caching with his son these last couple of years. Head over to CacheManiacs.com to download that show or subscribe through your podcatching software to have them delivered automatically. Another month brings us another episode of the Caches of the Round Table. This month, Daryl of the Cache Maniacs, John of the Jersey Geocaching Podcast, Kathy of the Main Podcast, Paul of the Slaga Podcast, and I talked about creativity around caching. Listen to Episode 8 for our discussion on signature items and ways to keep caching memories. Information about last month's picks and five new geocaching picks for the month of March. You can download the show or check out the links at cachesroundtable.com. On this week's edition of the Cache Maniacs, we're talking with another geocacher from Down Under. Team Web Guy of New South Wales talked to us just over a month ago on caching with his family. Find out more about this mountain-loving cache who can't be stopped by a couple of broken ribs on episode 67. That's cachemaniacs.com. Time for the iTunes Coin Comment Giveaway Contest. You all know the routine by now. Go to iTunes, look up the show, leave a comment, throw your names into the collective bucket here, draw one out, you win a series of coins. Again, this month, coins are supplied by Landsharks.ca. Landsharks.ca, visit them for your, all your geo coin and geo swag needs. All right, well, we got the names here. We're just gonna reach into the bucket of names and let's see who we come up with. In this episode, the coin goes to Blue Baloo. Here you go. Congratulations. You've won a collection of coins from Landsharks.ca. You know the routine. Email me, geoisenride at isenride.com with your snail mail information. I'll get the stuff in the mail and shipped off to you. Okay, well, that about wraps it up for the preliminary events. Let's get on with the main event. So those of you that listen to the Podcatcher podcast recently heard Sonny do a brief tutorial on the art of subscribing with RSS feeds. He went into the theory and the whole idea behind how it works and he asked me if I could do a video tutorial. Oh hey, video is what I do. No problem at all. So this is going to be a very brief and very quick look at three ways of subscribing to RSS feeds. Now, one of them, Google Reader, is for mostly text-based blogs. If you have a favorite news site or a blog site where people like to write, you use Google Reader to subscribe to that, fire up the program, it'll automatically go out and find out if there's any new content for you. I'm also going to feature a pair of what they call pod catchers. And these are programs that are automatically go out and they'll download programs such as mine and various other podcasts. Now, one of the programs is iTunes, which is pretty much regarded as the king of podcatchers out there. And the other program I'm going to look at is a cross-platform uh, program that will work with Macs, PCs, and even Linux. And it's called Juice. It's, all programs are completely free and very easy to use. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this brief article on RSS readers and podcatchers. So on a recent episode of Podcatchers, Sonny was talking about subscribing and RSS feeds. Well, this is a very brief tutorial on what to do with them. So one of the articles or one of the uh, sites he mentioned was Google Reader. And I have it fired up right here. We're just going to take a quick look at it. Now, what Google Reader does is allows you to, and the word they like to use is subscribe, to various websites. 
Now, the great thing about subscribing to a website is that you don't have to go searching all over the internet to find new content. This program or this website will actually bring the content to you. Now, if you go over here, you'll see a subscription area, and these are various blogs that I already subscribed to. And for example, if I want to find out what's happening with, say, this one, Ed Out and About, which is a lower mainland geocacher site, I simply click on it and it'll load it up and it'll bring up his latest articles. You can scroll through and read them. Now, the way this works is if you want to add up something, you click on Add Subscription. Now, if you want, you can go out looking for something, or if you know a particular website, you can simply enter it here. For example, if I'm into news, I can type CNN. Go off, and it comes up with CNN.com, or the world site, or the major site. Click on one of these sites, and it'll show you the latest articles on that particular website. Likewise, we can type in something else, such as my name. In the very top line here, or the second line, I should say, is my new website. So we can click on that, and I'll show you all the latest articles on my website. Now, if you want to stay in touch with what I'm doing without having to visit my website every day, you can simply cl click this button here, and you'll now be subscribed. So every time I update something on my website, you go to your Google Reader and it'll automatically show up as a new article. However, what this is mostly about, it's not so much news articles, but podcasts. Now, the most popular podcasting program out there is iTunes from Apple. Pretty much everybody knows about it. It's a free download. Just go to iTunes.com, download it, install it, and you're good to go. Now, if you've never seen iTunes before, it looks like this. So this is what iTunes looks like. When you first fire up the program, it'll take you to what's called the iTunes Store. Now, if you're looking for podcasts, you simply come up to here to the search and type in whatever field you're looking for. Say we're looking for geocaching. And it'll come up with a list of geocaching podcasts. Now, for example, if there's one you're interested in, here's the new Ontario podcast. Click on the arrow. I'll take you to that site where you have a list of past episodes and you can listen to these episodes just by clicking on them and if you want to add this to your collection if you want to subscribe click the subscribe button and iTunes will take care of the rest so iTunes is recognized as the most popular podcasting program out there however if you want to try something different or you like to download your program in a format that Apple doesn't recognize well there's another program for you and it's called juice first off let's just take a quick visit to its website Juice is a cross-platform, completely free podcasting download program, also known as a podcatcher. Now, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it's a great program. I've used it before till I converted over to uh, iTunes for my iPod. Now, you want to see how this works? Well, I just happen to have a copy up and running. We'll just bring it up here. Now, when you download the program, it comes with a couple subscriptions already, but if you'd like to add your own, all you do is click on the add subscription or what they call add a new feed. Now here's where it gets a little geeky. You have to know what the feed address is. Now most websites generally will give you a feed address. For example, let's go back to my site. If you're a big Windows Media Player fan and you want to subscribe with the Windows Media feed, you click on here. This will take you to the Windows Media Format feed page. And again, you can scroll down and you can see past episodes. So what you have to do is you have to get this address into Juice. So it's just a simple of copying it. Bring up Juice. Add new feed. Insert it. And save. Immediately comes up. Shows you previous episodes. And if you want, just highlight the episode. And click on the download. You can see here, it's downloading the program as we speak. So when it's done, you'll be able to click on it, open up, and play it. And again, like all other programs, as soon as I upload a new version, when you run this program, it'll go out, check the feed, see that there's a new program, and automatically download it for you. So if you ever wondered what these buttons on the side of my page are for, now you know. If you simply want to have a program to go out, 
and find the new episodes for you without having to come to the website and downloading them. Subscribing is the way to go. And whether you use Juice or iTunes or Google Reader for text messages, it doesn't really matter. It just makes life that much easier. RSS feeds and subscribing. An easy way to get your geocaching fix. So that about wraps it up for this episode of the video scene. Just before we go, just a couple quick notes. First off, thanks to landsharks.ca for the continuing support of the video zine. For all your geocoin and geoswag needs, make sure you visit them at landshark.ca. Also, I'd like to thank all the viewers who have contributed financially to the program. Folks, your contributions are greatly appreciated. Now, if you get any kind of enjoyment out of this program and you would like to donate financially to the show, it's very easy. Simply go to my website, icenry.com, and you'll be presented with a variety of payment options. You need to make a one-time donation or a recurring monthly contribution. Again, folks, if you've already contributed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Now, one other last quick note before I sign off here. You're probably by now wondering where my co-host is and, you know, like, where's Roxy? Well, she's actually by my side right now. There's a little too much action around here and she's a little excited. So we just got her in a nice quiet spot where she can sit back and watch the procedure. She's a little too young to compete in the sport yet. Abel, in the meantime, well, he's off with his uh, sport therapist getting massaged, getting all rubbed down because he is a top level athlete and, you know, the way athletes are you know they you know need to be kept warm so he's off with the massage therapist right now he's getting a good rub down keep him nice and loose and keep him warmed up for his next run we've had two runs today we've had great results and I'm really looking forward to getting back into the trial season again it's so much fun to be competing but in the meantime and in between time that's it another episode of Ice and Rise geocaching video scene so until the next episode cash on